Why there's so many unprofessional hairstylists? You know you got a client, like, why aren't you answering the phone? An hour ago, she posted a video on her Instagram story, right? Why was the girl smoking hookah with one of her friends an hour ago, but it is time for my appointment and you are nowhere to be found and the shop lights are off, the doors are locked. I think I lie for you. I think I die for you. Sure that you cry for you. Don't think when you call me through. I control all of Control Yeah, I control. Hey y'all, it's your girl Lisa and I am back again with another epic, juicy, and ghetto. Is there a drama? I don't think there's drama. But story time. <laughs> Okay, before I get into the video, I'm gonna do what I promised, okay? I'ma shout some of my subscribers out that really been showing me love because we are here for the positive energy, we're here for the positive vibes because that is what's gonna keep me going on this journey. Not even just me, us. That's what's gonna keep us going on this journey. Now, in my last story time, I was advertising like a little contest. Only two of y'all really kinda sorta followed it but for the effort, I'ma just shout y'all out because y'all get an A for effort, okay? So, where's the first person? The first person is Channy P. What's up, girl? Shout out to you. You tried, so I appreciate you. And then the next person that they tried, you didn't really get it right. I'm not gonna lie, but you did put some emojis that I used. Actually, you got you messed up one of them too, but it's fine. Al Belmont, shout out to Al Belmont. Thank you for participating in the challenge. And the next person, I'm gonna shout out some more people too because y'all comments, I'm telling you, like y'all comments really like got me like, yeah, like y'all y'all messing with the kid and I appreciate y'all. I wanna shout out Eva Diva, what's up girl? Cause you've been commenting on a few of my videos. So thank you for coming back and showing me consistent love. I appreciate you. So that's all the shout outs for today. Those three people, cause two of y'all, y'all tried with the whole emoji challenge thing. And then one person is a consistent commenter. So I'm definitely gonna keep shouting everyone out in my next couple of videos because y'all, again, like I said, y'all are gonna, Y'all are what, y'all are what is going to help me or are going to help me. I don't know if my grammar is right or wrong right now. Y'all, I'm tired. But y'all helping me get to where we got to go, okay? Roll to 1K. We're about at 600 something subscribers right now. So let's get up to 1K, y'all. And I'm going a, I'm to a do something special at 1K. So let's get there. Let's get there. I just want to let y'all know, if y'all have... Any suggestions as far as like little contests that I can have or hold, please comment below. Give me some suggestions. I am open ears, okay? Now, let's get into the video. Y'all see the title of the video. I think <laughs> there's about a million videos of this on YouTube of hairstylists, horror stories. Like, can somebody explain to me why there are so many hair, not even hairstylists, horror stories, why there's so many unprofessional hairstylists? Like, this is not like, we're living in a day where it's not like back in the day where your hairstylist, first of all, let's get into the nitty gritty of like today's hairstylist, right? A lot of these girls, they don't be washing your hair. They don't be conditioning your hair. You gotta come with your hair washed and conditioned and blow dried. You gotta, uh, it's a lot of stuff that you gotta do. It's some hairstylists who do wigs. You gotta come with your hair braided. Why am I paying you 150, almost $200 to come with the hair half done? Don't make sense. Don't make sense. But that's not what my story kind of revolves around. But I'm just going down the list of like, what's going on with these girls? Like, I remember being a little girl 
And my mom, because that's why, you know, y'all going to see me with different hairstyles and nails always done because that's how my mom kind of conditioned me from a kid. Like, my hair was always done. I was always in and out of the hair salon when I was a little kid. When I would go to the hair salon back in the day, y'all, I would come. They would wash my hair. They would give me a hair treatment. They put me under the dryer for the roller set. Like... Today's hairstylists don't do that. They will blow dry my hair. It's even certain hairstylists. If I want to get a silk press ponytail or something, I got to come with my hair straightened. What world are y'all living in? Where we got to come to a hair appointment with our hair straightened already? You didn't do any work. If I got to come to a hair appointment with my hair straightened, I might as well do my own hair. Like, math is not mathing. But anyways, let me get into what happened with this specific hairstylist horror story because this girl was so unprofessional, y'all. Not even funny. Okay. Boom. So, this takes place as another story. All my stories, y'all, are from years ago. Not all of them, but all my stories that I'm going to be telling y'all first because I'm still in the beginning stages of my YouTube these are all going to be from years ago, so nobody's feelings should be getting hurt. And if they are, you're pressed like a panini. I don't know what to tell you. It is what it is. So, boom. This was in my college days. So, this was in the days, too, where I wasn't as broke as I was in the beginning. I was getting a little money. I had a job. I had a man, so he was paying for shit. And... He, he was... We was doing some... We was doing some other stuff, too. So hairstyles on rotation so what was the first hairstyle i wanted from this girl if i could find a photo i'm gonna put it up so y'all can see the hairstyle so i wanted it was a time where a braided ponytail that was a thing comment comment like one of the emojis with the little hairstyles below if you remember that that stage where a braided ponytail that was trending so i wanted that hairstyle and if y'all watch any of my other videos y'all know that i went to college in westchester and if you're not familiar with how new york is set up westchester it's not too far from the bronx it's, westchester is basically the start of upstate but i don't really con i mean it's technically yeah it is upstate but i don't really consider it upstate because it's not it don't take that much effort to get to Westchester. Like, I mean, it do, but it don't. But bottom line is Westchester is fairly close to the Bronx, like right there. So when I was looking for a hairstylist, this was, this was the Instagram hairstylist days too. Well, it still is the Instagram hairstylist days, but this is when finding a hairstylist or whatever you was looking for off of Instagram, this is when this first started to become a thing. So... I'm looking, I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm searching. And I wasn't finding nobody whose hair that I liked at least in Westchester because Westchester ain't, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Westchester. So I was looking for hairstylists in the Bronx because like I said, y'all, I was dealing with my ex crazy. If y'all remember that name and he had a car and I don't know if y'all realize, I don't know what states y'all from or where y'all from, but in New York, having a car is a luxury. It's not a necessity because we're in our metropolitan area. There's a train or bus that could take you anywhere and everywhere that you need to go. I'm not even capping. I'm being dead serious. So he had a car. So I'm like, okay, you know, let me do something convenient, but something that is not easy for me to get to on my own. So I was like, all right, let me look for somebody in the Bronx. Boop, boop, boop. Looking, looking, looking. I found the girl. And I was really digging her stuff because one, she did braids. And then two, she was doing closure weaves as well. This was before frontals became a thing too. Like closure weaves and clo closure sew-ins. That was what was really popping around these times. So I was like, oh yeah, like I'm going with her because she could do any hairstyle that I need bet so i don't remember if she had a booking link or i had to message her if i could find the messages between me and this girl i'm gonna confirm that information but i'm pretty sure i had to message her to make an appointment so whatever hit her up said hey are you available this day this time she was like yeah on her page it says she was located in the bronx y'all Okay, and I booked it like early in the morning too because I think this was like around the time where 
it was about to be Thanksgiving and I was working at Mad Rag, y'all. If y'all saw the story time I fought my manager, that's when I was working at Mad Rag too. So I booked an early appointment because I wanted to get my hair done before I had work. I'm pretty sure that day I had work at three o'clock. So I needed a morning slot. So y'all tell me why like two days before my appointment, she messages me like, Hey, um, I'm sorry. My location changed because... Well, she didn't even give me a reason, but she was like, Hey, my, I'm doing hair out of another location for the day of your appointment. Would you mind coming to Queens? Girl, if I wanted to do my hair in Queens, I would have found a Queens hairstylist with no issue. How, how, how I book you for the location of the Bronx and you talking about Queens and for all my New Yorkers, y'all already know like Queens to the Bronx, like that's, that's not an easy travel. It's, it's, it's only easy if you have a car, if you have a car, even then it's going to take you about 40 minutes to get to the Bronx from Queens. Well, depending on what part of Queens you're in, if you're already by the Whitestone Bridge, okay, cool. But I'm in Southside Jamaica, Queens. Got a shout out, Southside Jamaica, Queens, New York City. Okay, so that's not convenient. Then if I take the train, I'm going to have to, that's going to be like, what, two hours? Because the train takes you through the city. Granted, y'all, our public transportation takes you any and everywhere. But the thing about public transportation is that it's always going to take you longer than what it would in a car. Because it got mad stops and mad different routes. Like, girl, what? So when she said that, I was just like, fine. Like, I asked my, my ex... I was like, would you mind driving me to Queens for my hair appointment? He was like, okay, fine. I'm like, okay, copy. We good. F it. I'm going to just go to Queens. I'm going to just go to Queens. Now the day comes. First, my ex was tired as AF. He didn't even really want to drive because he literally went out the night before and got two hours of sleep. So even though he wasn't shit... At least I know he he kind of loved the kid. He kind of loved the kid anyways because he was still willing to drive me at 8 o'clock in the morning. Not even at 8 o'clock because the appointment was at 8 o'clock. Really like 7 something for me to get my hair done. We driving, we driving, we driving. I'm looking at the neighborhood. It's mad familiar. I'm like, this is not even Queens. This is Elmont. <laughs> like, this is Elmont. And if y'all don't know where Elmont is, Elmont is a part of Long Island. Like, we are not even in the boroughs no more. I'm like, so this girl lied about the location? Because she know if she would have said Elmont, I wouldn't have been going for it. That's why. All right. So, boom, we pull up, y'all. It's 8 o'clock. I think we got there, like, just on time. It's 8 o'clock. I hit her up. I'm like, hey, I'm here. No response. Okay, I'm not gonna sit here and act like I didn't get like a full blown response, but I didn't get a response for maybe about five minutes. She said, and then after the five minutes, she said, Okay, I'm coming. Well, I'm gonna try to find the messages, y'all. The messages is gonna depict everything. So, boom, she before she even came outside, she said, I'm coming, right? And she was taking mad long to come outside still, y'all. Why this girl messaged me back saying, Would you mind taking me to the beauty supply store? Because I just dropped all of my gel and I don't have any more gel to do your hairstyle. I know you fucking lying, bitch. What? How you managed to do that? Hey y'all, it's editing Alicia. Just inserting a screenshot of the conversation between me and the hairstylist on what I'm currently talking about. I did miss up a few details because I am in the video telling the story literally off the top of my head, but I probably should have went to dig in my archive to find the conversation so I could remember the order of events. But basically, she had hit me up when I was on the way there talking about can you find a beauty supply store? It wasn't when I actually got there. It was when I was on the way. But either way, it's like I was on my way at like 7 a.m. And you're saying this now? 
Mm. And me being young and dumb, I'm just giving her the benefit of the doubt. Like, okay, first of all, at this point, y'all, I told you my my appointment was for eight o'clock. At this point, it's like eight ten. It's eight ten, and you're telling me that you just dropped all the gel that you need to use to do my hair. Let me continue. Not only that, I pulled up to a house. I didn't even pull up to a shop. I pulled up to a house, but hey, I'm not judgmental because, and even today, I'm not judgmental. If you're working out of your house still because you're building up your brand for you to be in a salon space, that's the, the part of your journey that you're on. But the me today, I'm not dealing with it's 810 and you telling me you don't have no gel because at that point, forget it. Forget it. You, you've already wasted my time. All right, the younger, the younger me, I asked my ex, I'm like, she's talking about, can we drive to the beauty supply store? He like, this, this bitch is doing too much. Like you were supposed to just been in the crib. I'm like, I know, but it's not going down like that. So she came outside, right? Not only did she come outside, finally, she came outside probably like 813. She came outside with a friend. Why is your friend, why is your friend coming too? Like you need a bodyguard? Like you need protection or something? Like I, what's going on? So I'm like, hey, how you doing? Like, yeah, whatever. Okay, we drive to the beauty supply store. We get up in there. She get the stuff. And now we driving back to the crib, right? So... Now we in the house, right? <laughs> we get in the house and I'm putting two and two together, y'all. I start putting two and two together. Cause first of all, she ain't had nothing set up in the house. The house is not even, she said it was her house. That's not her house. It was her friend's house. Okay. It was her friend's house. The friend that came in the car, right? Not only that, they talking about the night before while she trying to set up everything because I'm just sitting there. Y'all, when I tell you I was sitting there for another like, let's say 20 minutes before she actually started parting my hair, I'm not capping. I'm being dead serious. It was to the point where I had called because we were in Elmont because one of my aunts lives over there. I had called my aunt like, hey, can my boyfriend sleep at your house? Because I explained it, the whole situation to her and she let him go and sleep there in the crib while I was getting my hair done. Cause I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be here for a while. And I know he would rather sleep on a couch versus his, his car seat. They talking about the night before. Guess what the fuck these bitches was doing? They was out partying. So that's why you had me come to Queens because you knew that you was going out with your friend and it was more convenient for you to stay in Queens versus do whatever you needed to do to get back to the Bronx this morning. Which means it's not that, oh, your gel fell and you spilled out all your gel. You ain't have no supplies. You didn't, you didn't even bring your supplies. That's what it's giving. All right. So finally, she started doing my hair, but y'all, I can't remember every single detail because this was like so many years ago at this point. But when she started doing my hair, like it was like pauses. It was like pauses. Like somebody would call her. She would answer the phone, be on the phone with them. Then somebody in the kitchen talking to her. She talking to somebody in the kitchen. Da -da. And I'm just sitting there like just patience, patience, using patience as a virtue. And I really shouldn't have been as virtuous, like for real, because she was dragging it. I really started catching the attitude and I was just being too nice. At this point, I'm just holding out because I have no other choice. She, my, my hair is halfway done. I'm here. I need to get my hair done. Mind you y'all, keep in mind, I said I got there 8 a.m right keep that in mind and i'm gonna show y'all the hairstyle if i haven't already put it up on the screen i'm gonna show y'all the hairstyle and my girlies that get braids y'all know that this hairstyle should not take that long right so in the process of her doing my hair 
I guess her friend's fan. Oh, I'd even give her a name. We gonna call her. We gonna call her Capper. Capper or Miss Cap. Who should I? What should I call her? Capper or Miss Cap? Just Capper. We gonna call her Capper. So Capper. Capper's friend, her family starts making dinner, not dinner. <laughs> her family starts making breakfast in the kitchen. Now, here was the one positive thing about this experience. They gave me a plate. I know that's right. <laughs> they sure did. They gave me a plate. I had some pancakes, some eggs, some bacon, even a biscuit and some orange juice. I'm like, yeah, this is my compensation for all the unprofessional ish that you have done thus far, a plate of food. I'll take it. I'll take it. So yeah, she did that. Mind you, where she was doing my hair too, I forgot to say that y'all. I'm in her friend's bedroom, which was a mess. By the way, like, this was not, and y'all, I was young. So it's like, I really didn't know any better as far as what to and what's not to tolerate from a hairstylist. So there was that. She finally finished my hair, y'all. Y'all want to know what time she finished my hair? She finished my hair like 2 o'clock. I kid you not. My hair was done at 2 o'clock. And what time did I said I have work? 3 o'clock. So I'm going to put a map on the screen so y'all can see where, where I was at and where I needed to get to by 3 o'clock. Okay. Why is it that it took you seven hours seven hours i was over your side of town for seven hours to get a braided ponytail not like little skimpy micro braids i'm talking about jumbo braids seven hours that makes no sense it's a reason why i booked the adm because i would have thought i would have been done in a timely fashion but that wasn't the case that wasn't the case so there's that y'all. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning. This girl had me effed up about three separate times. So this is the first time, right? And the younger me, I was more forgiving of people, but the me today, if somebody had tried something like that with me, you're done. Like I'm not giving you second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. No, we're not doing all of that because you're unprofessional and I don't have the time for unprofessionalism and I don't have the time for people wasting my time, okay? So that was her first strike, right? Now my dumb ass, cause like I told y'all, she did hair and weaves. Like y'all know how hard it is to find a hairstylist that does both. And then she was great at both of them. Like the talent was there. The talent was all the way there, okay? It's another hairstyle. A few weeks later, I wanted to get like a closure bob type of situation and booked an appointment with her she told me the hair to buy and everything blah 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 so because I already know who I was dealing with at the time kind of sort of it was the day of disappointment for me to get my closure bob okay and I text her like hey are we still good for today no reply <laughs> Instead of a reply, I see that, oh wait, no, no, it took her about four strikes. I'm sorry, y'all, like, I'm thinking of this story off the dome. It took her about four strikes for me to be like, all right, she's done. She's done. Like, I just wasn't learning my lesson. So this time, I, I don't really count this time because it's like, okay, I empathize with her if this really happened. So instead of a reply, y'all, it was a post on her Instagram story. Hey, y'all, this is Kappa's friend, liar, and Capper has got into a car accident. All hair appointments are canceled for today. She really apologizes, but she is not in the state to do any appointments because she got into a car accident and now she needs back surgery because her back is effed up. I'm the type of person, if you say you got into a car accident, you got into a car accident, okay? Because I got into a car accident where my car was literally totaled, okay? And a car accident 
I would hope to God that she wasn't lying. But because I've seen her character, I don't fully believe her. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. And I feel like she's so trifling that, yeah, she is the type to sit up and lie and say that she got in a car accident and she don't damn well she didn't, right? And I'm just saying this off of what happened the first time. The first time you was on some, it was something, and now this time is something? And a car accident, y'all, it's not nothing to play about because it's a 50-50 chance you gonna walk out alive or not seriously injured, okay? That's something that you could die from. It's not nothing to play about. Like, my my car accident, I could have easily died, but God spared me because he said, girl, it's not your time. You still you still got a purpose. Thank you. I'm sorry, off topic. I walked away with a scratch. I got a scar on my, I, I don't think y'all can see it now, but I have a, I have a permanent battle wound from my car accident though. But it was a little, my forehead busted open a little bit because <laughs> my head slammed against the steering wheel. If y'all want that story, the car accident story, cause that, that was drama. That was drama 101. Okay. If y'all want that story, let me know. But I was like, I replied to the story. I'm like, oh my gosh, get well soon, da 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 da. Younger me just empathizing, okay? So now I think it's about two weeks later and she comes back on her page. She's like, hey y'all, I'm back. I'm taking appointments again. I'm feeling better, blah, blah, blah. I don't even think it was two weeks later, y'all. I think it was like a few days. I dragged it after two weeks. That was a reach, like, it was probably, it was probably like a week, maybe like a week. Okay. And granted, it don't take you that long to recover from a, from a car accident, depending on your injuries. Okay. So boom, I was like, okay, bet. Like she's back. I'm going to book her again. Like it's about to be lit. <laughs> the next hairstyle that I wanted for her, cause the bob, y'all, I found another hairstylist to do the bob because I that was around the time where I needed my hair done, so couldn't wait for her for that. So now this next hairstyle, it was another braided hairstyle. It was one of them hairstyles where it was corn rolls half corn rolls and then half box braids. If I could find a photo, I'm gonna show you the photo of what she did. So, wanted that hairstyle, booked her. Now, she's in Harlem. I was like, okay, cool. Like, Harlem is cool. Harlem is convenient because, like I said, y'all, my school's in Westchester. So, Harlem, it was only a couple train stops away on the Metro North. So, super convenient for me. And now, this location, she's in an actual salon. So, I'm like, okay, great. This is great. I'm gonna get a professional experience. And everything is going to be Gucci. <laughs> I pull up, y'all. Again, y'all, this is an early appointment. Now, at this point, this is probably like a few, maybe like, I don't know, two, three months down the line. Because at this point, I wasn't working at Magrag no more. I was working, where was I working? I was working at CVS. So, again, this is a situation where... I shouldn't, I, now I know not to do this. Like, don't try to get your hair done the day you gotta go to work, okay? Because this is another situation where I booked her for the morning time and I had work in the afternoon, evening, thinking that my hair is gonna get done in time for me to get to work. So, boom, pulled up, right? Why I pull up to the shop, nobody there. Nobody's there. It's closed. So I call her. No answer. <laughs> like this girl got a problem with not answering the phone. Like, you know you got a client. Like, why aren't you answering the phone? Now, mind you, let, again, y'all, let's say my appointment is for 8 a.m. Because my thing is, I'm an early bird. I catch the worm. Like, I will show up early i don't have a problem waking up to be somewhere early okay so eight o'clock nothing crickets the time is going i'm like okay you know who you're dealing with alicia maybe she's running a little bit late maybe she's running a little bit late 
Hey y'all, it's Editing Lisi. I'm back here again. Here I go messing up the order of events because as y'all can see, this is happening in 2017, 2018. This is years ago at this point. So like I said, when I was telling the story, I'm thinking off the top of my head, but I winded up, did getting in contact with her prior to my appointment. And the appointment was actually for 1030 as y'all see here, not 8 a.m. Regardless, it was in the morning. And as y'all can see the messages, she's telling me she doubts I'll get here for 1030. So she gonna go to the beauty supply store. Girl, here you go again, not having all of your supplies. And I booked this appointment in advance. And as y'all can see, everything is still adding up. I still got to the shop before her because you were running late again because you were unprepared again. The fuck? Then I see some lady pull up with a baby. I'm like, who this? And she's like, hi, are you getting your hair done here? I'm like, yeah she's like okay you waiting for capper i'm like yeah she's like, like okay um she she's on her way she's on her way she, she'll be here soon but let me open up the shop because y'all it's this was around the time where it was winter now i remember how cold it was but it was cold enough to where it's like after a certain point i'm gonna be freezing like so let, let, let's go hurry it up hurry it up so Shorty opened up the doors to the salon for me or whatever. And it was very nice because, you know, Harlem is gentrified, y'all. Well, if you don't know, Harlem is gentrified. So it was very nice, looked very new. And it was actually like a lash. It was advertised as like a lash salon place. But they had a little area for hairstylists too. The girl finally probably walk in like 8.15. And these be the same girls that be trying to charge you a late fee if you're late. But you can show up to my appointment 15 minutes late and, I, and I'm not supposed to have a problem. Yeah. I. So, boom. Now she finally comes and she's like, hey, I'm sorry I'm late. Da, 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 this and the fourth, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, hey, like, let's go. Like, just start my hair, bro. Just start my hair. So, yeah, I kid y'all not. What did she start first? Well, for that hairstyle, you got to do the cornrows first so it, for it to make sense. I kid y'all not. She probably did, like, two braids. It was like, hey, I need to go get breakfast because if I don't eat, I'm going to pass out. Why? Didn't you come here late? So you came to my appointment late and somehow didn't eat breakfast before you came. So now you telling me you need to eat some food. Oh, she didn't even go get the breakfast. The lady who was the owner, she had went and bought her food and she was like, oh, I need to eat. So she literally stopped doing my hair, done only did two braids, stopped doing my hair so she could eat her plate of oxtails. All right, whatever. If, if, if that's, if you getting some food, is going to make my hair get done a little bit faster, then fine. Then fine. Let her eat the food. I let her eat the damn food. Okay. Now, was this a situation where she was on and off the phone? I don't think she was. I think she was focused this day. Like, after she pulled all of that mess in the beginning, once she got to doing my hair, she, she got to doing my hair, okay? I don't remember the fine print, but... It is what it is. So this is a hairstyle, y'all. If you my girlies who get braids, y'all already know, like, box braids take long as it is. So box braids plus the corn rolls, it did take a hefty amount of time. And it's not like this was like an African spot where it's like two to three people on your head. It was just her. And knowing who I'm dealing with, of course I was late to work again of course i was late to work again but my hair looked really nice it looked really pretty it looked really nice okay so this is the grand finale now this is the grand finale i think it's probably like another month or two later i need a new hairstyle i think it was after this hairstyle was getting well not this one but the hairstyle the braided hairstyle that was getting old, and I wanted to try again to get a closure weave with her, okay? Because, like I said, y'all, she was good at both the weaves and the braids. Now it's time for 
the last attempt that I ever did to try to get any type of services from this unprofessional ass bitch, okay? Book the appointment via the DM, whatever I did, right? She said, yeah, we're good to go. I'm pretty sure I hit her up that morning. Con and mind you, when I was getting my hair done this day, I was getting it done in like, I wasn't getting it done at the typical time that, you know, I would go to get my hair done with her. It had to been like in the evening. So like, let's say I made the appointment for six o'clock cause it was, it wasn't night, was it night, night time? I think I made the appointment for like seven, eight o'clock, bump the six. Cause it was dark. And I remember being tight y'all. I remember being tight. Cause this girl got me tight. Let me get, let me tell y'all why she had me tight. She had me effed up. Actually. She didn't even have me tight. She had me all the way effed up. Okay. All right. I hit her up that morning. Like, Hey, are we still good for later on today? She's like, yeah, we're good. We're good. We're Gucci. I'm like, okay, bet. Why I made it to the hair salon y'all mind you, this is the same one that she was at in Harlem, right? I made it there closed, <laughs> closed. The lights, the lights were off. There was nobody in sight, right? So I hit her up like, hey, I'm here. The, the salon is not open. Where are you at? No response. No response. I look at her story. Why is that an hour ago? She not even said because an hour ago she posted a video on her Instagram story, right? Why was the girl smoking hookah with one of her friends an hour ago, but it is time for my appointment and you are nowhere to be found and the shop lights are off. The doors are locked, but you were smoking hookah an hour ago. Math is not mathing. <laughs> like two plus two equals four, but I am getting 423 on this equation. Y'all it, 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 it does not make sense. It's not making sense. And I'm just like, wow. Like this girl, like she really takes me for a joke. She really takes me for a joke because this is a girl y'all too. Like she had clout on Instagram. Like she had clout. And she had a couple of like little Instagram baddies. I don't think she had any A-list celebrities, but she had a couple of people that if they were to expose her, like she would be done. But she wasn't playing with them, but she was playing with me because I was the nobody, right? And because I already let her slide so many times with nonsense, she, she, she just was playing with me again. How old was I at this time? I was probably like 19 at this point. I'm 24 now. It's a big difference. It's it's a big difference between 19 to 24. Okay. <sighs> I probably waited around for maybe about 10 minutes and I left. Cause I'm thinking like, okay, maybe she's running late from smoking hookah. Like maybe she's, I'm just giving her the benefit of the doubt. And it's just like, this girl got me out at night in Harlem. Now, if y'all know about Harlem, y'all know Harlem is <sighs> gentrified. Like you'll be on one block that is very gentrified, very nice. And then you'll be on another block that's filled with nothing but crackheads. <laughs> like <laughs> I can't make this up y'all. I cannot make this up. Like, Sir, parts of Harlem are crackhead central, okay? I don't know if it's like that today because honestly, the last time I was in Harlem, it's been a minute, okay? But that is how Harlem is set up. And I am not trying to get grabbed up by one of these crackheads. And you got me standing out at in the middle of the night waiting on you to come and you're not coming? Pretty sure I called my ex upset very bothered, very perplexed, okay? Because I just can't believe that this girl has wasted my time yet again. I 
I'm over here on my phone. I'm looking up Harlem hairstylist Harlem because I was determined to get my hair done that night. Like I was like, there has to be somebody that's available right now. Boom. I found another hairstylist and I might have a story time about his dumb ass. Okay. Cause he was another one that was just like, really? I found another hairstylist, Harlem hairstylist. His hair was good too. I hit him up. I'm like, Hey, like, are you available? He's like, yeah, babe, when do you want to come? I'm like, are you available tonight? He was like, LOL, no, but you could come tomorrow. I'm like, okay, fine. Because I needed my closure. I needed my closure done. And then after she pulled this, I was just like, I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not attempting any more chances with this girl because you really tried me like on mad occasions at this point. I'm not about to keep allowing you to play with me like this. Like it's done. It's done. So I took my little sad. I went out sad this night. I went out sad. Like I took my little tail self, went back to the Metro North train station and f waited for the next train to come for me to get to go back to my dorm. Okay. Yeah. I kid y'all not. Why? As soon as I get on the train, mind you, y'all, this is an hour later. Oh, because I didn't even go. You see, I'm missing. I'm missing parts because this happened a minute ago. I didn't even go straight back to the Metro North. I literally, um, I left after 10 minutes of standing, I left and I went to a nearby McDonald's, bought some food. And I'm like, okay, hopefully by the time I eat my food, she going to hit me up. No. So by that time, that I finished the food, that I walked back to the Metro North, that the train finally came and I got on the train. It was an literally exactly an hour after she was supposed to had start my hair. If I could find the messages, I'm gonna post it on the screen so y'all know I'm not capping, but capping sure was. She was capping a lot. She was capping a lot, okay? Why capping write me? Oh, I said her name was Capper or Capping. Y'all know, y'all know who I'm talking about, whatever. So Capper, she writes me back like, OMG, I'm so sorry. I'm in the shop sleeping. Are you still around? Are you delusional? Do, or, do you suffer from a mental illness? I left her on scene. <laughs> I left her on scene because girl, Fuck you. Fuck you. You was sleeping, but an hour ago you was smoking hookah. Like, don't, like, stop trying to insult my intelligence. Like, because you a dumb bitch. I'm not dumb. You're dumb. Okay? Stop trying to insult my intelligence. As if I don't have you on Instagram and I can't see that you were obviously out somewhere smoking hookah. Like, what? Like, what the fuck? So I left her on scene, y'all. Like, it wasn't really a big, like, arguing fest showdown. I just didn't have the energy. And, and that's the thing about me. Like, I'll clap back at a few people, but I'm not really an arguer. Like, I'm not going to sit there and argue with you, especially if I came to the conclusion that you're done already. Like, I'm not I'm not going to do that. Left her on scene, and she, and she probably didn't even give a fuck. And if she did, she felt stupid. I, I don't really know. And that's basically that my hairstylist horror story. The girl was just unprofessional as hell. She done wasted my time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, many, two times. And I should have never went back to her from the first time that she played with my time with everything that I just told y'all. And you know what's crazy, y'all? New York City is a big place, but it's very small because you always run into somebody that you know, that you used to know. It's crazy. It was one day I seen her, y'all. I seen her like a few months after all of this. And I was on a date with my ex crazy and we were in the city and we were walking around. And was she on a bike? Was she on a city bike? Or was she walking? I don't remember, okay? But I was walking with my ex and Let's say I was walking this way. She was walking this way. So we crossed paths and she was like, oh, hey girl. I looked, I looked at her like this. Kept walking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, bitch. I don't know you. 
I don't know you. I don't know why you saying hey to me when you know you done you done play with my time too many times. And you gonna say hey to me, girl? F you. <laughs> What she probably was like, and she was with one of her friends too. That's probably like, why was you so excited to say hello to that girl and she just walked past you like she didn't know you? And that's crazy, like that 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 happened, y'all. Like it's crazy. And my ex was like, wow, like you wasn't gonna say hi back? No, cause it's f that hoe. Like, are you shitting me? Anyways. That was that story time, y'all, of my hairstylist horror story. I do have a few more stories, and they get worse. They they definitely get worse. I'm saving one of them for when I got, like, 10K subscribers. Like, I gotta have a double-digit thousands to even tell that story. So, if you made it to the end of this video, if you enjoyed it, if you laughed... Make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn your post notifications on so that you are aware of every time I drop a new video. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok so you can see my life outside of YouTube a little bit, even though I don't really be po posting that much, but I still be posting, so tune in with me there. And if you want to see another hairstylist horror story, comment the emoji that's like, Comment that emoji if you want to see some more hairstylist horror stories. And I'll check y'all on the next video. Later. I think I